Last year, Alberto Fernández never thought he could become Argentina's next president. He was a rival of former President Cristina Fernández de Kirchner, and even though he was her husband Néstor Kirchner's chief of staff, he was also a fierce critic of her time in office. Now, Alberto and Cristina, as people call them, have put their differences aside. Together, they have a better chance of defeating center-right President Mauricio Macri in Sunday's vote. I told Cristina, let's do it together and let's do it right. Let's do it together and show the best team in Argentina is this one, the one that thinks for Argentines. Four years have passed, four years of pain, of seeing 43 small companies shut down a day, thousands of people without work, regional economies, our pensioners suffering, salaries dropping. All that happened with a government that filled the pockets of the banks. On Thursday, Alberto Fernández closed his campaign in the city of Mar del Plata, where his Peronist party stood together for the first time in years. President Mauricio Macri closed his campaign in the province of Córdoba. Knowing polls show he is running behind by at least 15 points. Macri has been struggling with an economic crisis that has put Argentina on the verge of default once again. He blames the previous administration of Cristina Fernández de Kirchner. We are going to have to continue facing challenges to solve, but bringing the same ones from the past will not help us at all. Let's not fall into the promises of those who let us down so many times for so many years. They ruled for so many years and left the country in tatters. For months, people here have been withdrawing their money, afraid that Argentina's banking system may collapse once again just like it did in the past. Political and economic uncertainty are making people turn to the US dollar, and that's why the central bank is using foreign reserves to prevent the further devaluation of the peso currency that immediately translates into more inflation. There's lots of speculation on to whether the government will be forced to implement further measures to contain the hemorrhage of the foreign reserves. Alberto Fernández says Macri's agreement with the IMF to introduce austerity here is to blame. And Mauricio Macri is now promising to end spending cuts and push for growth. His challenge is to convince voters to trust him one more time. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.